Sodor is surrounded by beautiful blue sea. It has fields of green and sandy yellow beaches. There are rivers, streams and lots of trees where the birds sleep. There are windmills and a coal mine and docks where visitors to the island arrive. The island also has lots and lots of railway lines. Who's that puffing down the track? It's Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the island of Sodor. Henry's Comet. Summer had come to the island of Sodor, and the hot sun shone all over the island. The engines worked hard, struggling throughout the baking hot sun. The only problem is, if sun makes their boilers overheat and make them thirsty so quickly. But if you're in the forest like Henry, you won't have any bother. There are lots of shades in the forest, and because of that, he didn't overheat once. When Henry arrived back at Timber Sheds, Thomas was already there. You are the only engine not to overheat today, puffed Thomas. What are you doing, Thomas? asked Henry. I'm making a wish on the North Star, asked Thomas. Oh, I can make one too. Um... I wish I could always be on time. <laughs> no, Henry, you're not supposed to wish that loud. And besides, your wish has already come true. Look, the other entrance aren't back yet. Henry saw that none of the other entrants are back. Maybe you're right. Maybe I am a lucky engine, he huffed. Later that night, when the engines were all asleep, Henry thought how pleased he was to have made that wish. Now I will always be on time, puffed Henry, and that means I can be a really useful engine. And with that, he shut his eyes and went to sleep. The next morning, when Henry went to the yard, the fat controllers were waiting for him. There's going to be a comet scene tonight. So the observatory has been built, and the delivery of crates has arrived at the yard. You, Henry, are to collect them and take them to the observatory, he said. When the fat controller left, Thomas was excited about the comet, but Henry was mummies. What if the observatory isn't ready in time? puffed Henry worriedly. Don't be silly, I'm sure it'll be ready in time, shoved Thomas. At the yard, Henry was still worrying. The driver told him that there's going to be a special screen so that the engines could watch too. Why the screen is not big enough? He thought. Why there's not enough room? Worst of all, why if all of the engines can see it, but not me? There's got to be somewhere else I can see it. Puffed Henry sadly. He thought and thought and thought. Then, an idea flew into his funnel. That's it! So is all rich! That's the highest place of all! Henry raced off with his crate trucks. But he had forgotten the screen trucks behind. And BB! Hey, come back! cried BB. But Henry had already gone. Henry arrived at Henry arrived at the station. He was very pleased with himself. No, I've got a hill to climb, puffed Henry eagerly. I Packman Packman changed the watch. I thought you were collecting trucks of crates, puffed Packer. You're supposed to be at the yard, snorted James. But Henry wasn't listening, and he raced off as fast as he could. Henry steamed across the island. 
It was getting late. He was so excited about seeing the comet that he didn't see Edward about to cross the traps. Slow down! called Edward as he saw Henry coming. The cat isn't clear yet! But it was too late. Whoops! said Henry. <laughs> Silly me. What are you doing, Henry? You know that cat isn't cleared yet. I was on my way to say the witch. Then I could see the comet big. But you could have a perfectly good look at the observatory. Puff Edward. Oh, I'm just afraid I wouldn't be able to see the screen with all of us around it. Don't be silly, laughed Edward. Everyone will make moon for you. Just like you make moon for other entrants at Titmuth. And if you don't pick up the screen soon, no one will see the comet. Henry knew he was right. I have to get to the yard somehow, he puffed, even if it is getting late. So Henry puffed off to the yard as fast as he could. It was late by the time he reached back at the yard and pick up the real truck. Where have you been? cried BB. I thought we could have been here all night. No, puffed Henry. Why have I done such a thing? BB smiled. And soon they were on their way. They have to work quickly, because a comet will be coming soon. Henry raced as fast as he could. His axles ate and its wheels hurt. The men worked quickly, and it wasn't long before the screen was set up, just in time. <laughs> now, can everyone see? asked the fat controller. Yes, sir, puffed Henry. They're all sharing the screen together, and I got something else I want to share too. My Comet Song! Comet Song? puffed Thomas. Lovely, Henry. Why don't we hear it? I mean, let's hear it. <laughs> 